Hello guys, I'm to Green Z34. I'm going to make this part a little bit quick. Um, what I basically did is I took and I halved over the sausage and the uh, potatoes on one half, and I just cracked a ha half a dozen. I got six eggs in there. I, I got one more ingredient. This isn't really necessary, but I'm going to put a little, a little splash of vitamin D milk in there. You know, on the egg side, probably right in there. Let me do a little bit more. Yeah, that's probably a little too much, but right in there. And then what I'm going to do is I'm actually just going to kind of screw these eggs up a bit. Like right great and such. And what I'm going to do is I'm going to kind of keep that. i still got a couple little chunks of pink sausage in there, you'll notice still. That's not a big deal. Um, you're probably going to want to do this a little quicker, but I had to get the camera out and stuff. But you're going to want to not quite have so much whiteness of the egg by the time you're to this point. But it's not a big deal, and it's not important because this, this really doesn't matter that much. But... I don't know. This is just kind of a thing that I I like to do when cooking eggs into meats and stuff. I like to just kind of get it cooked up individually so it ain't quite so gross. But you can see that the stuff will mix in. But this I like to get it a little bit solidified before I really mix it in there with everything. And you'll see that it will kind of just do this number. Not a big deal. As you can see, it's starting to get a little bit thicker, a little bit chunky, a little bigger pieces of egg and you can see that you know the potatoes and stuff are obviously working their way in yeah, anyway pretty much what we're dealing with um, I'm gonna go ahead and let this get a little more chunky I suppose well I could maybe just hold on to the video here just another minute just kinda get it it so it starts to solidify a bit starting to get there as you can see as I pull away from the pan it kinda get a little more tapioca looking. I'm just kind of doing this. You can see what I'm doing. It's kind of my technique. Okay. So now we're starting to stick. Now we can go ahead and mix everything in. And what we're going to do right now at this part, also while we're at it, well let me get this just a little bit more mixified. Just kind of Keep bringing it around, bringing it around. Once you're to this stage here, I kind of got your egg chunks and stuff that are mostly solid and you're mostly pink on your sausage and what have you. Kind of get it all mixed in there real good. Then I would take and I would add your cheese. I got about, like I said, about a pound there. There you go. And uh, I should just chuck that over there in the sink. And then you're just going to want to kind of keep on, keep on mixing, keep on keeping on. Uh, onions and stuff in here, the onions and sausage, man, it's really smelling good. And you're just going to kind of break up your Velveeta a bit because it's going to take a while to cook anyway. That's why dicing it's nice because it, it does take it a little bit less work in the pan but Velveeta is really sticky and it will kind of stick to wherever it lands and it will stick to itself when you cut it up even but it does help make it melt faster so kind of hurt me ramble forever on this one this is kind of the longest segment so far but I think uh, basically you just kind of want to keep mixing it like this and I will get back to you guys in just a minute